Welcome back everyone to Victoria 2, one of my favorite games. I'm your host, I'm Mokalova. And right now, I guess we're going to war with France, because that's what I left for us to do from the end of the last episode, so... Cool, we've got some comms to go through, um, but hopefully we do well. I mean, I don't think we'll do poorly here. I mean, the French, they don't have a small military, but... Basically, the period right now that we're in, from the beginnings of what is the German Empire to about probably 1900, probably a little bit after that to about 1910, this is what I'm going to call the build-up period, because once Great Wars start, I'm going to go full tilt towards the enemies. And also right now, we've been working on getting more naval stuff, trying to build up our ports, getting more money, just improving technology as much as possible. And before we really let time go on, here are the national spirits, the national focuses, I mean. Basically, same thing. We're almost done with getting... Uh, bureaucrats 100% Bohemia. I want to make sure every place has bureaucrats. We'll eventually start doing some more intellectuals and especially craftsmen when the time comes. But for now, you, me, and well, adding more French to our country. Liberia goes bankrupt. All right, then. Liberia, I don't really care, I'll be honest. Oh, hello. Who are you? Napoleon Boulangar. He's going to attack and defense. Von Kirkbach. He's better on attack, so. Oh, hello. Yeah, the Frenchies are showing up. Yeah, let's see, they're going to attack us. Yes, they are. Uh. Sure, but you have to come in. Which I don't think they will. Oh. They will not accept. Uh, the 16th they'll be back, so. Um, okay, well, that's okay. So we're going in then. We're going all in. All in that, please. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Alright, 101. God dang. You dare attack us! No, 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 no. You both go there, and then you guys go there, and then you guys go right there. See what you can do. Head down there, my friends. They should do okay doing that. Well, that army's going to die. And it is now June 1st. Very good. We're losing a lot of money. We killed all 37,000 Frenchies, but that's okay. Either come to war or die. Are we fighting? No, Morocco's on our side. China still wants allies. I did say earlier in the campaign that I do want to do a lot of stuff with China. I'm not sure that's really going to happen at this point, just because I'm really focusing on taking out a, just a ton of territory from our enemies here. Just just so much territory. Um, We do have... Ooh, quite a, why do they have so much infamy? Oh, I've been trying to cut it down. Um, what's the war score like right now? What's the war score? 23%? We, why are we fighting Morocco? The Japanese were called in the war, I guess, too, so. But still. Mm, very nice. 3,000 more have died. Very good, very good. Uh, you guys head over there, and then head into there, and then head into Paris. Straight to Paris. I'm not going to full siege him down this time, just because I want to make sure we can quickly go back to war with them. Alright, 23,000 have died. What, what's the war score do we need for this? 32. 32. That's fine. Alright, thank you. And you're headed down to Auxerre. Thank you. Thank you. Come back. And, alright. 18,000 died versus 1,700 of us. Guys, you're not going to win. How many men have you lost? Already quite a few. Amiens. Beauvau, whatever you pronounce it as. I don't know. I took one year of French in high school. And it's been at least a decade since I took that class, so. Monsieur. Hello, Paraguay. Yeah, no, Paraguay, I, I, I don't think that's going to really work out for us. I'll be honest. Don't think allying you right now will do that well for us, but, uh. Hey, look, we, we offer them peace. Don't tell me I didn't offer them peace. Uh, we're just going to keep going until they say... So. Also, I didn't realize this, but, like, I was looking at the, the uh, regions here. And, uh, hey, look at this. Savoy is split into two. It's Nice, and then Chambray, and Ancy. So I didn't realize that, that Nice, or uh, that area has been split into two, so. Um, not bad so far. We're doing quite well, of course. I mean, we're kind of expected to. Hello. Um, we're, we have nothing on defense. Ooh, they have minus nine. They have a really good thing there, though. They're losing 6,000 people a day. Holy crap. Well, help them out. Might as well. You know what? They would accept this. We're going to win these battles first. Kill them off. Kill them off. Ah. Just, we lost 27,000 versus their 68,000. Oh, they just lost 7,000 right here. Oh, my goodness. But one of the comments from yesterday, I think I already said. I can't even remember now. Um, just make sure that we take all the... Hello. Militant socialists. Take the areas, especially in the Baltics, where there are quite a bit of German minorities here, especially like in Riga. There's 20% North Germans. Uh, not too many there. You got a sliver, maybe, or maybe, maybe not. Uh, maybe not so much. Um, Reval, maybe? Yeah. The capitals of, like, Lithuania and Estonia and this place. Either release them or annex them. I'm probably going to annex them because they deserve to be with us. And I think it's Saritzen that usually had quite a German populace, but they're pretty much gone now, so... 
Yeah, it's kind of sucks for them. But I guess it's time to peace out the French. Because we want Am was it Amiens. Artois. And what do we have here? Alright, so we have anything else here. I've gone to incarceration as well, just because I can. I want rehabilitation, so we get more assimilation and immigrant attraction. Here's just suppression, but I don't really use suppression too much. Good minimum wage. They're kind of really pissy about it, but we're going to go with this one first. I don't care. Alright, Germany's getting bigger. Next time we'll take this territory, and I'll see you when we can probably go ahead and take Piedmont, and I'm going to cut down on that infamy. And now, my friends, it's time for a little bit of Italian, uh, a little Italian joy, we'll call it. It's 1890, 23 infamy. I think from here on out, I'm going to start cutting back a little bit more and more and more on the wars. Just because once great wars really start, which could happen pretty much any time, I think now-ish. Um, I think it's just best to wait, cut down infamy, get to great wars, and take a lot of territory then. Uh, we'll see, though. We'll see. We'll definitely see. Um, I'm trying to influence Zanzibar because I'm not really sure who else to influence, I'll be honest. Really not sure who to influence here. Oh. Oh. Forgot about that stuff. Yeah, we could probably do that too. Um, yeah, that'd probably be a good idea. I think we have the same thing against Vietnam as well. Do we not? No, we don't. I thought we did. Uh, Cambodia? No. Let me take a look here. You guys? No. Huh. Zanzibar, huh? Well, maybe we'll have to go to war with them as well, but... What did the UK get? I liberated this faction, and then... Okay. Odd. I'd love to take Zanzibar out. Um, but we need some ships, and I might have deleted my ships because they got taken out earlier, but oh well for now. Um, I think there's opinion for now, that's fine with us, I don't really care. Sulu accepted, don't really care, just because they're already our puppet. Believe it goes bankrupt, better pay their debts from here on out. You better, you better. Nope, you said no to me, so I'm going to say no to you, son. That's how it works here. Cool, Savoya. Oh, actually, you guys would probably just go straight here and do, probably do pretty darn well. Oh, they're mobilizing, they're definitely mobilizing. He's not good on a, a defense, so. Um, let's get it Guys, stop moving. Luca. That's kind of annoying. Bessemer process? Cool. We're doing some steel steamers just so that when the next decade hits, we'll be able to do stuff that we need to. Hey, nice. Very nice job, guys. Chambray, that's a bit suicidal to actually just go into there immediately. So we're going to go here next. There you go. Uh, you know, they're going to do whatever they're going to do, so. There you go. Head on in. And reinforce them. There you go. Now, start killing a lot of them off. Oh, we're actually losing this battle now. We're actually losing that. He must be really good on attack, whoever they have. Plus five. There you go. Yeah, he's really good on attack. Our guys has no extra defense, which is fine. Whatever. Oh, we actually won, though. Look at that. If that's a case... Ooh, P Perugia. Let's see. What are we after this? 70 scores needed, which is fine with me. You know, things happen. Um, come now. You guys are looking really bad, actually. Uh, normally, the 703, you guys are normally a 60 stack anyways. Uh, keep both of you there for now, that's fine. You guys head to there, and you guys head to there. Watch what happens. Oh, they leave. That's actually really good for us. But yeah, right now, um, I guess with the, uh, the Conservative Party, Arbeiter, Conservative Arbeiter Party or something like that, so. Um, where are you guys headed to? And head down to Aquila. There you go. Head in. Ah. Nice. Yeah, definitely don't attack there for right now. You guys, where are you headed to? Cavigali. Gilia? Something like that? Hmm. I'm going to retire you home right now because you're looking extremely bad. Go over here. I'm going to take you guys instead. Come on down here, guys. Come on down here. Cool. Uh oh, they're attacking us. That is really not good, them. Uh, head on over here. They're attacking us, which is not good. Oh, look at that. Nice. Well, if that's the case, head on down here, too. How many Italian boys do you want to die here, boys? 40,000? Not enough. Well, down to go to Nice. Nice. Siemens, Martin, Process. More steel? Yes, please. That's great. We got plenty of money right now, too. Go for Rome. Ah, uh, very good. And at this point, you would like to peace out. Very good. Yeah, and there's Savoy still over here, which kind of sucks, but whatever. Um, I think really the next war... I want to go to war with Russia, but they're allied with the French. I want to go to war with the Dutch, but they're allied to the Russians, so... I don't know, we'll see what happens. Like I said, I want to cut down a lot of the infamy as well right now. So, you... Uh, you... Uh, you stay and go turn to Turin. 
so then you guys go to sub there, and we're gonna just keep making more armies. I'm gonna keep making more and more and more armies because we do want to get the these guys here. Um, take one of you guys go there, and the other group is going to go to there, perhaps. We'll see, and hopefully we can go to war soon-ish with the Zanzibarians. Now, we're not that far ahead of time where we just left off, but I do want to say that we have a total population of 133 million. I'm building up a lot of troop ships, but most importantly, we have Friedrich Krupp Germania Weft. The Germania Weft uh, was a major German shipbuilding wharf in Kiel, North Germany, which is responsible for constructing many of the German U-boats deployed by the German Kriegsmarine both during both wars, World Wars, as well as the Kaiser Wilhelm II personal yacht. Originally found as a Norddeutsche Schiffbaugesellschaft in 1867, the wharf was bought by renowned German industrialist Friedrich Krupp in 1902 and renamed the Germania Weft. By constructing the Germania Weft in Kiel, we can ensure that the Vaterland never lacks the ships it needs, which because we have enough money for now, 50,000, you know, or 5,100 pounds, or 51,000 pounds, which is fine, whatever. And we also have, uh, still steamers, but we get prestige, we lose the money, but we get a level 6 naval base, which is why I wanted to show you this to you guys immediately, because that's really strong, that we don't have to pay for it, basically, oh, 50,000, whatever. That's cheap compared to a level 6 naval base. And, and until the end of the game, ship repair speed, local ship build time goes down, which I think is just great, 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 because right now... Can we build anything else here? We cannot, but soon we will be able to. Trade for Hel Heligoland? The UK has approached us with a proposition. A trade of sorts. <clears throat> to Of one of our colonial states in exchange for the island of Heligoland. It's an exorbitant price for such a small island, but the alternative would be to go to war. Shall we agree to, agree to the treaty? We refuse? We agree. If Mombasa isn't owned, pay or owe $100,000. So, basically, we've been trying to colonize down here, and it's German Zan's... Why am I down here? Madagascar and... Na oh, that's not good for those guys. Yeah, I'm, I'm really ignoring a Africa here, I'll be honest, just because we'll get them later on. Like, for the most part, we'll get over here. Oh, we're trying to... We're kind of fighting these guys over here. Um, Mombasa, is that down here? Yeah, it is right here. So, uh, yeah. Okay, it's also too bad. We, we gave them Mombasa, which we'll get, a, we'll get again someday, of course. But Heligoland? Heligoland. There's a lot of British people. Okay, there's not a lot of British people here. There's less than a thousand. And right now, we're trying to improve our navy. Um, Reinhard von Holzendorf is looking pretty good. We got the Brandenburg, which looks great, great, great. Obviously, we've got to improve our stuff. And there's a lot of Polish nationalists here in Poland, so hopefully they rebel. I kind of would like to see that. But I'm still, we're still justifying for the Dutch because they're no longer great power. They're mobilized, and they have no allies, which is awesome, awesome, awesome to see. But you never know. Now, Limburg is probably a pretty good place to be occasionally, but, uh... I think it's time for us to go ahead and bring them on home. Uh, that being said, I guess that Limburg, Maastricht, is a Zealand, whatever. Um, how do we do this one? Build the Kiel Canal. Building a canal between the Baltic and the North Sea would be a tremendous boon to our shipping, and we are in a position to build one in Kiel. The Kiel Canal and the Danish islands, with their numerous torturous channels, will enable the German Empire to play the game of hide and seek with a strong naval opponent, such as the Royal Navy. Besides, it would greatly strengthen the German enemy's uh, empire's position in the Baltic. Whereas Russia must send her ships to the Skagerrak and Kattegat, the German Empire can pass them quickly and safely through the canal. Last but not least, the canal will convert the Baltic and the North Sea into a single sea as far as the German Empire goes. Kiel is in an enormous harbor, but it lays in the Baltic, while Wilhelmshaven on the North Sea is too small. Cost half a million to one and a half million pounds, which we don't have. Well, that's okay. Construction of the Kiel Canal. We've gathered engineers and specialists from across the country, and we're ready to begin the construction of the Kiel Canal. The costs have been estimated, but we can always give them more resources to try and accelerate the construction. Pay or owe? That's fine with us. It'll be done within a decade. Probably. But, that's okay. Let's go to war with the Dutch, because we love the Dutch. And, yeah. Uh, Zealand? Ooh, Dutch West... Oh, that's actually a core? Huh. That's a state. Dutch West Indies. Um, honestly, I'll be honest here. I... I the British are contesting me here. I do want Tanganyika. So, I think off screen, I'm just gonna make it a little bit more balanced for us. Where I'll give this to the British, and I'll take Tanganyika. Just to make it... Uh, maybe not. Maybe I'll take this and give this to the British to make it look nice. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I just... As long as it's balanced. It's gotta be balanced, right? British West... Uh, West Indies. This is Java. West Indies is somewhere else. My apologies. Let's go in. I want Zealand because they have a lot of coal. Uh, culture map mode actually for Germany right now. Nothing's really changed too much. We still have Eisenstadt becoming actually it's a little bit more more German. Uh, a lot of Italian lands. Nothing really has changed too radically just yet. I, I do want to go to war with Russia, but oh well. And as you saw earlier, they did us a lot of revolts, but the Poles put them down. Actually, right before I started re-recording, we had a ma oh wow, we had a massive uh, militant socialist revolt ourselves. 
but oh well. Um, so we will take middle bag. We get some fish, some cattle, some coal, and some coal. We take this area. Coal. Oh, this this has more coal. Zealand. We love Zealand. Can we call our allies in? Everyone looks up. Yeah, why not? That'd be great. Breda, uh, Rotterdam, Middelburg, Maastricht, and I've slowly been just converting more armies uh, and combine them together. Uh, just go for Amsterdam. That's fine. Oh, we got some dynamite. That's great. And we're doing pneumatic and hydraulics, I think. Yeah. So that was the way we get a lot more things done. We get actually this one's extremely strong. Minus ten percent factory costs. I we're gonna. I just don't have enough money. We literally just do never have enough money, so I can like build up stuff up even more. Um, go in before they get too strong. There you go, that's nice. Rotterdam. Pacifism will not suit you correctly, my friends. You do not want to become pacifists. It is a negligible thing that will happen to them anyways. Um, but right now, look at that. Even though we take more people, we're, our literacy is 93% of the population. That is, I would say, sort of impressive, at the very least. I hope to get out as fast as possible. Um, anything else here? Nope. Gurkha's Askeris and Terra Alert. If you want to hear about that, I've read that before. Please go ahead. Prestige, thank you. And we're still sucking everything for now, but it's fine, whatever. Um, anything else here? No, not really. No, there you go. Cool. Cool. I do want to go to a war with the Russians, but we're going to have to wait a little bit. So, yeah, I think... I think I'll balance it up between us and the British off-screen, just because... Why not? Uh, Zulu. I'm not sure why I'm doing the Zulus, but I don't really care, to be honest. Yeah, Africa is definitely shaping up to be African. So, <clears throat> we'll see. Are, are, are they sure they don't want to peace out yet? Like... Hey, all right then. I mean, it's going to cost us another month of infamy. Also, I did just sign the Geneva Convention to lower the infamy just a little bit, so it is what it is. <sighs> yes, very good. Oh, look at that. Yes, attention, you go, yes. And we're trying to get this one down here too, so. Carlos, Spain, Portugal. We like the Portuguese. Portuguese are cool people. Sometimes. Sometimes. Cool. And I'll keep you here, just in case. Just in case. You do that. And I'm going to send you guys to this side, because I took a couple armies from here, too. There you go. Looking pretty good. And this army should be done very soon. We're missing one horse baby, which is going to be made in Ribe. Is that how you pronounce it? Ribe? Rib? Oh, hell. Oh, this is what we have. Great wars. We have before us an ideal of the most grievous con. We have before us many, many months of struggle and suffering. You ask, what is our policy? I say it is a wage war by land, sea, and air. War with all our might, and with all the strength God has given us, and a wage of war against a monstrous tyranny never surpassed in the dark and lamentable catalog of human crime. That is our policy, you ask. What is our aim? I can answer in one word. It is victory. Victory at all costs. Victory in spite of all terrors. Victory, however long and hard the road may be, for without victory there is no survival. Growing national pride in countries around the world have reached to the point where people will not only accept anything less than total victory when great powers clash from now on. Any conflict with, the last, with at least two great powers on each side will be regarded as a great war. God help us all. And of course, we the Germans would figure out what a great war is. But also, I just want... I don't remember if I showed you, but we do uh, a good minimum, minimum wage. And people are just not upset. Like, they're okay with us right now. Like, the actual populace is... What is this? Ausflucht. Uh, the Ostflush, flight from the east. <clears throat> it's an aim being given towards the migration of Germans and Poles from eastern parts of Germany to more industrialized regions of Concentra and Western Germany. The causes of this migration are still being studied, <clears throat> with the most preeminent of the scholars being one Max Weber, or Weber. But it's theorized that a drop in attractiveness to immigrate to America, combined with an increased demand for industrial workforce in other parts of Germany, increased birth rates among the Poles and poverty in East Germany are the main driving factors for, the f for this phenomenon. With no signs of abating, politicians in Vienna are scrambling to pass legislation to mitigate its effects, including limiting sales of estates to Germans only. How many more can come? While Dortmund, Frankfurt, Cologne, or Köln, Dortmund, Hamburg get plus 500% immigrant attraction. Holy crap. Wow. That's actually really kind of cool. I, I love the Victoria 2 little historical tidbits about this. I think it's just one of the one of the game's greatest strengths. Would you like peace? Dude. Cool. So from here on out, this actually looks a lot better. This just makes so much more sense. I mean, obviously, we're going to eat them all up eventually. I'll take the colonies, whatever we can get from them. Um, but <clears throat> once we can eat the Swamp Germans, it'll be great. I really want to kill off these guys. If we have a... Well, technically, the Japanese are allied with us. So it would be basically us and the Japanese with 270 score. And our score is mostly inflated by soldiers and army. And we're still sucking in everything for now, but the UK will be defeated someday. We're actually catching up rapidly with our industrial score and military score. And the, we're, we're close behind them. So, uh, But then the Russians have 425. Would we be able to take on the French? The score of 238. And uh, maybe... Industry-wise, we blow them both out of the water. But we'll see what's up next. Well, everyone... 
Um, we, we're not going to go to war with Russia, but we, we really are right now. Just because I do want to take out more of France. They're not like, too strong, but they are allied with the, not the Germans. We're Germans. Sort of. Um, they're allied with the Russians and the Swiss, but I'm not too worried about. They are allied with these guys, which is unfortunate. Um, it's going to end up in a world war, because I think we're still allied with Japan. Uh, the American War of Cuban Freedom. Bolivian Liberation of Antofagasta. Okay, we're still allied. Yeah, we're still allied. That's pretty good. Uh, everyone else doesn't really like us. Ottomans, ah, the Ottomans are with us as well. So actually, it wouldn't be too bad. Having, uh, oh. oh, hello. That doesn't look very good. I mean, we're making a lot of money. Tariffs are like, what, 20%? And we're making so much money. I mean, we're still number one in the world in industrial power. Actually, for this, we're definitely past them. They've, they've already mobilized, which is not good for the economy. France, though... They're having troubles, too. They're not looking very good. They have a good army, but... Um, we do want to take Champagne, so... It's gotta be what it's gotta be. Ooh, the Ottoman Empire has a truce with them. I did not realize that. Mexico will not join, but... Bukovina, Wales, Sulu, Shogunate, Japan, Lombardy, Greece. All very strong people, so... Well... Mexico, Mexico said no. So is this a great war, then? Because there's us and Japan versus Russia and... France. So hopefully this goes well. I don't really care about taking out their own rebels, so... Um, obviously we don't have as many guys as I would like on either side of the border, realistically. Oh, you're actually not really good on an attack. And attacking at this point is kind of dangerous, I'll be honest. I gotta keep at least one army down here, and we also have an army down here in France, too, so... Um, really, here's my goal. Yep, becomes a great warp. My goal is for us to fully siege down France. Siege it down, get rid of it. Uh, we don't have that many colonies down here, so if we lose stuff, I don't even want to see you die, so... Here, hide in the mountains, maybe. Montane forests. There you go. Hide in here. You're gonna you're gonna die anyways, but whatever. Um, we have some Germans down here. Look at that. There's a lot of people immigrating to Lindy. I didn't realize that. Are those? Kilombero. Well, that's kind of cool. Also, as I did say, I did give, like, this area to the British. I took the rest of this, too, just because it makes it look slightly nicer. So, um, German Africa, of course, is African, and this had this has an army as well, but uh, it is what it is, you know. And there's no good even to defend. I'm not even gonna look down there because there's really nothing, no good places to defend. So there's no point to even try it. So let's see what we can do with this. Okay, they've lost Anton von Hutzendorf. Gonna attack Yegor Pavlov. No skill in defense. Nice. So we gotta quickly go through this area, and if possible. As we're still, I'm still trying to get more guys. Okay, that's really unfair. If we can't do, go to war with Switzerland, they shouldn't be able to go to war with anyone else. And that's just a probably HPM. That's just a probably 52 thing, realistically. But it is what it is. Um, you find their armies, you gotta blow them up. There's a lot of guys in there. There's too many guys that have freedom right now, so. And we got militant socialists. We might have to mobilize, maybe. I'm thinking we might have to, so. Go to Plock next. Yes, that would be very good. We don't have enough infantry for that, though. Uh, you guys going to? Do we have any other spare armies around here to help? Uh, you just you guys go ahead and deal with the rebels. All right. Oh, they're dealing with the rebels as well, which is nice. Um, head on into there if you can. Dutch patriots. Uh, of course they would do this. Oh, that's not good over there. Uh, head on over here. Help us out. Help us out. All right. So what's going on? Out of Paris is nice. Sopron Verdun as well as very, very good. Oh, hello. Yeah, how about down here? Why not? All right. And you guys are headed that way. Well, uh, yeah, they're definitely going to need some help over there. Holy crap. A two-front war is not very good. It's basically, it's quite literally is World War One right now, but it is what it is, I guess. Uh, we have rubbles, which is not very nice. You guys do what you have to. You guys are doing okay. You guys are still doing okay over there. They've got some rubbles too, so. And if you've ever played 52 or you follow my channel at all, you know that it, it's not a Vicky 2 campaign until you got 60,000 rebels spawning for no reason. Especially if I give, as I give them literally all the reforms they ever wanted, so. Hey, nice. Uh, burn Paris to the ground. Okay, so we lost a ton of guys. Mostly the Lombardians, hopefully. But, yeah, we lost a lot of guys. They don't have a lot of organization, which is a little surprising, honestly. Uh, oh, this is... Re ah, it's owned by rebels. Something is going on with the AI right now. Like... I don't know. It just it just feels weird. German communists have risen up. That's the first time that's ever happened. All right. Not bad. Not great. You guys go over here, too. And, well, at least we took Paris for now. That's kind of nice. 
Anything else? They've got a lot of guys still over there. Anything else happening over here? They're attacking rebels. We're attacking rebels. Um, attack more rebels. Attack these guys too. Realistically, oh, we're going to do these guys as well. Oh, let's see you guys over here. See what we can do. Deal with the rebels. Deal with the rebels. Deal with the rebels. Yeah, we're actually, we're actually just slowly taking out Switzerland too. I kind of like that. All right, lots of rebels. Maastricht. How dare you try to rise up, you pieces of garbage. Well, we do have a lot of money as well, so... I mean, we can lower the tariffs. I, I try to make sure that we have at least a spare amount of money, just in case uh, things go really poorly for us, so... Ah, look, that's a lot of guys. Oh, boy. Where are you headed? Ah, rebels. Rebel time. It's fine, it's fine. We're gonna get all these guys back, which would be great. Nice, middle bug. Kill them off. And if they want to rebel again, I will cut their heads off? I don't know if I can say that, but... Something like that. Go right there. Alright. Nice. And then head into there. That's not good. That's not bad. Kill these guys off here. We'll go there and there. Nice. Oh, what is going on here? Uh, plus one to attack. Plus four to defense. That's pretty darn nice. 66,000 died right there. Leon? Uh, is this Leon? Yes, it is. There you go. There you go. Are you headed to oh, we're converging all the armies together then. 19,000 more have died. Is that what you really want, France? Is that what you really feel like right now? That's looking a lot worse than I thought, than I imagined. But it's actually not that bad. These armies are very small, so I'm not really worried about it. Maribor, very good, very good. And Bukovina, they're, they're putting up a fight. They're doing quite well, look at that. Bukovina. Oh my gosh, Lazarev. You're... He's still two plus two, but minus one and minus four. Jesus Christ. Yeah, don't attack anymore. We gotta figure out how to gas people. Oh! Oh boy. The Turkish Socialist Republic has been born. Well, there goes the Ottoman Empire. Goodbye. Hardly knew ya. How are our ships doing? Because this is not a really great navy. Uh, we got five battleships, 15 cruisers, and 20 transports, which yeah, it also suffice for what we need for now, but it's, it's not great. It's not great. But, honestly, like, the French A... The French, I don't want to say the French AI, just, like... Their score is really not too bad. 142, it was 200 earlier, but, like... Something, something happened here. I'm not sure what happened, but something happened here. Alright, well, they're gone. They're dead. Well, then. You guys go here. And... Go there. And then do that. Because I'm going to keep an eye on this battle here. Oh! End of the Ottoman Dynasty. That's actually really sad. Leon is good. The Ottoman monarchy has been overthrown, and now Turkish Socialist Republic stands in its place. The concept of Ottomanism, an empire formed of diverse cultures and religions, has been set aside in favor of a nation built by and for the Turkish people. Ah, diversity. Happy 1897. What do we want here? Admin efficiency, market regulations, uh, input tech, maybe. Just keep getting better and better input tech, I guess. Because we're maxed out on... Uh, Industry for now, for the most part. The Swiss really want to die, don't they? Cool. And you guys head down to here? Maybe? Maybe? I swear to God, rebel again and I'll kill every last one of y'all. Eh, hang out for now. You guys are fine. Overall, not too bad. What's a, what's a war score like? 57%. Jesus Christ, that's awesome. Awesome. Uh, uh, you know what? I didn't really want to liberate Lombardy, but they're doing a great job. They're really surprisingly doing a great job. I still want to annex them, though. I'll be honest. I still want 100% annex them. I'll go over there next. I'm not going to use that army to attack anybody. Good, good, good. I got some more groups over there. That's fine. You guys are spreading up anyways. Spreading up. Splitting up. Rouen. That's very nice. Very nice. Merci. Uh, you're not taking Paris away from us. We're burning it to the ground, you son of a gun. You can have a commune if you really want. Yeah, France is definitely not as strong without what they normally have. Ah, they're going to Geneva. Yeah, don't follow them there because that's that's mountainous and we don't want to kill ourselves over there just yet. Maybe eventually, but not yet. We're out of success. Pay for oh, 50,000. That's fine. Support the movement. I usually like doing that one. Nice. Good. Uh, you guys... Head through here. I wonder if you can actually attack and do well against these guys. They, they have no leader, so that definitely 100% helps out. Uh, I need you guys to go here as well. They're there. 
Just in case, you guys are almost done over there. As you can tell, I'm really kind of ignoring uh, the Russian front. Oh, they, they popped out a few more soldiers. Uh, go here to here. Go to here to here. There we go. Once these guys are fully sieged down, it's it's pretty much over. Nice. Cyanide mining? Or milling, not mining. Mill milling. Alright, I don't know why the Dutch did that, but I'm not Dutch, so I can't explain why. Alright, how's the bat Oh! I was gonna see how the battle's going, but it's going pretty darn well. We just got 32,000 of them, nice. Von Kirkback, pretty good. How's the battle going over here? He's going to an attack, not defense. Okay, so be it. A Bombruderman, very cool. Lots of little, like, little armies. And we can't really prove our relations with anyone else here. Ah, uh, Italy's secondary power. Who's it? Who's it? Who's the good part of them? France is barely. Huh. Spain is 10th. In the British sphere, eh? So be it, so be it. Ah, yes. Honestly, if the Swiss go to war with anyone, they literally should be forced to get... Like, you should be able to take them out then. Like, that doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense, man. It doesn't make any sense. Ah, elections. So oh, it's always good to have elections during election years. Mm. Uh, or during war years, election years. That doesn't make any sense. Nice. Can we actually piece these guys out independently? I mean, I wish I had less infamy, but it's nearly impossible to do that right now, so. I'd love to get some more stuff here. Take a puppet. Four, four infamy. Acquire state. Three. Ooh, you can do that one. Uh, actually, could you liberate anybody? Wolof. Eh, no one really there. Actually, could we do that with the Russians? Boratia, Congress Poland. Ah, what if they released the Ukraine? That would be pretty darn strong. Hmm. That wouldn't be too bad. Even though I really want to own the territory, that would hurt the Russians. That would also give us a pup. Well, it won't give us a pup. It gives us another ally. And then we when we go back to war with Russia. Then we could just focus on taking the Baltic states. That's not a bad idea, actually. Hey, why not? We can oh, we can't afford that. Okay. Wait, it said 3.6. Um, give me just one second here. Well, I reloaded the save, guys, but... To, you know, go back to June 1st, you know, the auto-save, but... Apparently, Russia wants to be out now. Um, it, it does help if you kill 52,000 uh, Frenchies in Troy's, but... The faster we peace out, the faster we can go back to war with them, so... Hey, I'd say for World War One. That was pretty darn successful, seeing as I don't think the Japanese did very much, but I could be very wrong about that. No, they did a little bit. They did a little, oh, no, they definitely did some stuff. I love the Japanese. Ooh, maybe next time we can give them the Cicadian Islands. What? Yeah, that's right. Turkey took Pyongyang. Yeah. That is... That is different. That definitely hits a little different. Oh, look, Rebels. Well, that kind of really sucks, doesn't it? Um, We'll deal with them. That's fine. Uh, yeah. Hey, the champagne's looking not too bad. At this point, though, you guys have done great. I, I've, I'm actually very impressed with the um, groups, especially Lombardy. I'm very impressed, actually. We have our navy over here. Go back to Kiel, because Kiel is great. We didn't even do that much damage against them. In all honesty, we didn't do very much against the Russians. I'm a little disappointed, though. I wanted to do some serious damage. But you know what? The faster we get out of the war, the faster we can cut down our infamy. So I think that's the most important thing for us to do. Uh, we still have a stack here, which is great. We have just way too much artillery here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three. And we gotta make a lot more infantry. So you guys go over there. Just because we are still trying to make a lot of artillery. Why are we making so much artillery? We need way more infantry. Um, so yeah, World War One. Not bad. Not wow, that's a lot of money. Look at those war indemnities. Holy crap. Yeah, we, we don't need tariffs then. We really don't need tariffs. Um, that's the case. We can lower this by a little bit more. We can definitely lower this a little bit more as well, maybe. Uh, sure, Mexico, why not? You know what? No taxes for you guys. Tax the hell out of the working class. Or the lower class. Orange? Nah, we're okay. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to cut down my infamy some more. So, yeah, this is not looking bad, but it's not too... Actually, I just want to see what happens now. Yeah, these... This is, this is just BS. 
That is such BS that they can do whatever they want. That was a really fast Great War. And also, here are the National Spirits. Oh, we can take that one off. Nice. Good, good. I just want to make sure we have enough admin efficiency here. So we've got one more we can use, and as you see, the greener it is, or lighter green it is, the more admin efficiency we do have. We're working down here. We need to go back to Croatia and help them out, because that'd be very good. So yeah, overall, not too bad. I mean, ooh, distribution channels. Better factory cost sounds pretty good to us. Uh, yeah, overall, like, we're not making a lot of money now, but that's kind of okay with me. We don't have to make, be making a lot of money to do well. Actually, did anyone do the Panama Canal yet? That's a good question to ask, actually. Uh, oh, they find annexed Egypt, huh? Hello, Flemish. Uh, okay. And give us one of your infantries. Cool. There you go. And I'm gonna assume this other group needs one too. Yep. You gonna go there? You're not. God dang it. Um, go there. And then you guys go over to yeah, sixty thousand. You just kind of hang out there because we still need to do do you guys do you guys well. Um, we have one hundred fifty eight million people in our country so far. I think that's pretty darn good. Uh, I don't know. I want to show you like what I normally do. I just justify, but I really want to cut down stuff right now. So uh, I guess more uh, one hundred five thousand. Jesus Christ. I mean, if they want to die. I mean, it helps me lower their part of the percentage of the population here. I guess that's up to them. I really don't like these rebels, but... We just killed 110,000 Flems. Foul murder, though. The German Empire is in a state of collective shock as news broke today of a foul murder committed in one of our states. A young girl working as a prostitute was in the state was found brutally battered by a client, and rumor has it that the police are covering up the identity of the murderer, who, it has been claimed, belongs to a rich banking family of some local renown. Police, however, maintain that they're still investigating the matter, but that no perpetrator has been yet uh, been located. The fear is on everyone's lips, and the debate has even reached Parliament, while liberal MPs demand answers from the government regarding the matter. You say a young girl working as a prostitute. How young are we talking about? Is that like... 18? Or are we talking like age where we shouldn't even bring this up for, on YouTube? Like, uh, like that, 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 I'm not sure how to respond to that. I'm not going to say I'm interested, but, uh, let's, let's leave, let's leave it alone. Um, yeah, let's not talk about that. Uh, anyways, let's get some more of this stuff because we can really actually use more influence. Because I'm trying to influence a lot of different places here. Uh, with the Great War Capitulations, actually that looks really nice. They became communists, and now they're actually looking pretty okay. Go figure. Greece is still looking so tiny, and Italy's only secondary power, which is great. Great, 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 And actually, I'm looking... Alright, man sing voting. As John P. Public walks up to the ballot box, he knows instinctively that he's being watched by the public or official presiding the vote. The man watching him put his ballot in the box is by a government agent in a bar, behind a cut hole newspaper. Somehow, somewhere, someone is watching him and feeding the government information about his political opinions and voting preferences. John's secret fears that someone on the dark side will come knocking on his door to have a little chat about loyalties and disloyalties. John Q. Public would very much prefer if he could give a secret vote in secret. Just because you're paranoid, that have to me. <laughs> Oh, that's all right. All the Fed boys are after us, anyways. It's okay. Uh, I guess so. Why not? Uh, but we have a lot of money. I'll be honest. What do we do with this money now? I mean, that's awesome. Look how much we're getting. We have nothing here for social spending, anyways. So, yeah. I guess you could spend more on this. I suppose. You want to max it out? Yeah, it's not. I mean, it's not max it out, but. Uh, oh, you know what we can do? I know what we can do. Haiti defaults. Don't really care. I just want to lower my infamy now. Alright, so now we lost all that money. Because trying to expand all these factories here. Uh, Militant Socialist Chamber of Commerce protests. You want to build that? Please go ahead. Uh, there we go. That one first. A new store in Brno. Mother, mother, they will open a new store in town. The 19th century saw the development of vastly improved channels for the distribution of goods to broader groups of customers. The opening of new specialized and industrialized retailers was essential in bringing new industrial goods produced in factories to consumers. The store in Brno will increase the efficiency of the local farms as farmers have to spend less time to travel to and from markets. Excellent. Look at that. Great. And our total population is 160 million. Oh, we got Jacobin rebels. Oh, that's not good. Why do they want to die? I don't understand. I don't understand it. Alright, 
Athletes are victorious. Some of our athletes who competed at the recent Olympic Games have been victorious and returned home with medals gold, silver, and bronze. Glory to the youth of a nation. Um, go ahead and combine these guys. Oh, yes, we murdered these guys. So we need to throw in seven more infantry here. Have another army. One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. Perfect. Combine and kill the rebels. Shall you? Yes, you shall. I mean, uh, it kind of sucks we lose some of these guys, but you know what? If they want to rebel, I guess that's one way to... uh. Lower your population of certain people with the Croatian question. With the recent unrest in Croat lands, the local Croatian government has demanded greater autonomy from German rule. Failure to provide it will only lead to further economic or ethnic unrest. Actually, thinking of, speaking of that, when you go back down to Africa and uh, get rid of a lot of these rebels, this is unnecessary. Give them greater autonomy. Ooh, we lo ooh but we release them. Ooh, never. Yeah, never. You want, you want... Uh, you know, liberty? You want you want to be separated from our nation? You can be separated from this world, then. And happy 1898, everyone. Alright, time to have an African adventure. Because right now there's a lot of socials here, right? So. It's almost impossible. I don't like the... Uh, you, you, can, you can't even see it. But these guys are taking over in Africa, which is really bad for us. So that's why we're heading on over here. So we got to keep an eye on this. Yeah, it's looking real bad. First tractor in Lua Elba. Mother, mother, old man Johnson has bought a new machine. It can plow, pull, tear, move, and you can ride on it. He says it's called a tractor. The advent of the tractor in Nienburg has led to a revolution in local agriculture. With farm outputs increasing on a scale unfathomable a mere generation ago, truly the boons of industry good unto the German apart. Truly it is. Cool. And I think I'll deal with that off screen. Cuba is here. Um, Because Belgium never formed, we never got, like, the Congo. Okay. But I think we'll end this camp, not the campaign, but the episode here. We're looking pretty good. Nothing much has really changed too much. Uh, Sutarol is looking pretty good in terms of being Germanized. Um, really not too much change yet. So we do need to go back to war with Russia sometimes. I mean, the majority of South Germans here, but you know, it doesn't seem to be too much. There's just little pockets of Germans here and there. And so, yeah, it is what it is. There's some Danes in here too, which is... Not great, but that's okay. Right now, we have a total of 47% of our population is German, 8.5% are Polish, 8.3% are North Italians, got Hungarians, some Czechs, others French, and stuff like that. And we have some Ibadi and Beodins, huh? Very, very cool. And the most populous place is Bohemia with 2 million people. But, hey, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we'll go back to war with France, Italy, and probably Russia and really beat the living crap out of them. Thanks for watching. Have a great... Rest of your day.